Most marriages can and should be saved. And as a marriage therapist, she believes in fast solutions to problems. No looking back, no lengthy discussions about your past behavior. She's the author of Divorce Bustin'. Yeah, therapist Michelle Weiner Davis. We're glad to have you here. Why do you believe most marriages can be saved? I didn't used to feel that way. About 15 years ago, if I would have heard these stories, I would have thrown in the towel, even as the therapist, I would have suggested that they break the news to the kids softly. I would have assigned them to go to a support group. I would have told them to read the appropriate books about helping people through divorce. And we all would have said our farewells. But over the past 10 years or so, I've been practicing an approach called solution-oriented brief therapy. And as its name implies, it's very short term. And instead of taking a long, introspective journey into the past to help them analyze how they were raised and what their mothers did to them when they were three years old, I would help them resolve the immediate problem at hand. And I have discovered over the last few years that I've been working this way, and particularly working with couples, it isn't the differences in opinions and attitudes that dissolves marriages. It's when people become hopeless and they think that there's, the future is nothing but a miserable extension of the past. That's when they throw in the towel. And when I used to work that way, people would say to me, Michelle, now we understand that we're repeating the patterns that we learned in our families of origin, but what do we do? We don't have a clue as how to solve this problem. But you do agree that you do repeat the, the patterns? Absolutely. Yes. There's no doubt that we are a product of the past, but the, the part of the equation that we're not paying attention to, the present also influences how we look at the past. If you're having successful relationships today and you're feeling good about who you are today, when you look at your life in the past, that's when you become more forgiving. That's when you become more loving. I help people resolve problems today. They feel better about each other. They feel better about themselves. And then they look back and they can even say to themselves, you know, my parents weren't perfect, but they did the best they can.